Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Garmin Dashcam 20. So first of all, I would just like to say thanks to Garmin for sending this product out for a review. If you didn't already know what Garmin's Dashcam 20 is, well it's basically a dashboard camera or a dashboard DVR for your car that suction cups to your windshield. Let's take a look at the box. As you can see on the front we have a big picture of the Dashcam, the brand logo and the product name. On the sides we have more pictures of the Dashcam and finally on the back we have some information. When you first open up the box, you will straight away be greeted with the camera itself. Then underneath the cardboard we have the car charger, a USB cable, the suction sand, a micro SD card adapter and the instruction manual. The device has a camera capable of recording 1080p, 720p or even VGA. On the back we have an LCD screen that can be used to play back the video or frame your shots. On the right side we have a small port which can be used to connect the included car charging cable or the USB charge sync cable. And finally on the left hand side we have the power button and a slot for the included 4GB microSD card. However this device can actually accept up to 32GB microSD cards if you want to store more recordings. The device does also have a built-in battery pack so you can charge it in the house overnight and then put it in your car in the morning for your day's use which is great if you don't want cables hanging down over your windscreen. Installing the camera on your car's windscreen is very simple. All you need to do is snap the suction stand and the dash cap together then just press the suction cup against the middle of your windscreen and close the switch. What this thing basically does is you stick it to your car's windscreen and it records what's happening out in front of your car. It also records audio inside of your car but you can switch this off. It also looks out for speed cameras and warns you just before you go past one. When you are driving along it is recording and storing as much footage as possible on the inserted micro SD card and the G sensor in the device is also looking out for strong bumps for example a crash and then it will save and protect video clips of a couple of minutes leading up to the event and a couple of minutes after the event. Also, the dash cam has a built-in GPS sensor which logs your latitude and longitude and it can also store your speed, date and time. The video is then stored on your micro SD card in a .avi format which you can retrieve either by plugging the device into your computer directly using the cable provided or by removing the SD card and connecting that to your computer using an SD card converter. You can also remove the dash cam from your windshield and use it to take some still photos of any damage if you have been in a crash. This product retails for around £199.99 in the UK but there's uh, also a dash cam 10 which doesn't have the GPS sensor which costs just £30 less at £169.99. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. As usual, if you'd like to purchase this product there will be a link in the description below. My name is Sam and you have been watching a Speedline Tech TV review. Goodbye.